canal is about 266 miles long. It is are about the lengths. And then there were several laterals coming in. As I said, we began building canals in 1825. By 1840, the river. And there's a lot of places, too, where the canal is filled up above grade. It's not dug down into the earth. It's filled up above grade. So it's still passing. Uh, he'll pulling the canal, keeping the water in there, so if those banks wash away, then the farmer's field gets flooded. So this is a way to protect the banks. And if you've got cops feeding, we didn't have, tra we didn't have traffic cops on the canal. They were the lock tenders. If the lock tender saw a mule driver coming up at more than a nice leisurely pace like we're hauling right now, they know that he's feeding. And once you get locked, shut in the lock, and nobody opens the gate, he's going to make sure he's paid fine and so on. He continues feeding probably, but he had to pay a fine. Anybody got any questions? But when this was finished, the canal got to Piqua in 1837. It was begun in 1825 in Middletown. Our canal was begun in 1825, in July of 1825 in Middletown. It got to Dayton, and Dayton really wasn't too eager to see the canal go on because they were becoming a huge trade center because of everybody going to the canal. But people like John Johnston, who, and you'll 